situation on the front lines as of February 20, 2023. On the border with Belarus, no changes. On the Svatov direction, enemy attacks from Plashenka and Kremina with no success. The elimination of Katsaps in Kazemivka continues. The enemy attack in the area of Ryanakivka failed. On the Bakhmut direction, despite continued attempts to occupy Spurn and Bilohorivka, Luhansk region, there has been no success. Katsaps are increasing pressure on Berkhivka and Yahidny. Fighting continues near these villages. Street fighting continues in the city of Bakhmut. To the south of Bakhmut, the enemy is pressing towards the airplane. Katsaps tried to advance towards Druzhba, Dilivka and Bila Hora. The fighting continues. Moreover, enemy mortar fire has intensified. On the Avdivka direction, there is no news from Avdivka. Near Nevelsky, the enemy advanced 200 meters in one windbreak. Heavy fighting is taking place in the central and western parts of Marienka. On the Zaporizhia and Tavria direction, no changes. Analytical note. The situation in Bakhmut is stable. Katsaps are pressing, but the resistance of our forces is significant. Of course, we need to closely monitor the events on the northern facet, as the fate of the entire Bakhmut depends on it. Today, the U.S. president and the head of the IMF visited Kyiv. We see these events as positive. We have a rather busy week ahead of us. Tomorrow, the Russian president is scheduled to give a speech, and we will have to watch it, willy-nilly.